All right, this video is going to walk you through real quick how to find the exponential equation passing through two points. Uh, the two points are given here at negative 1, 2, and also 2, 16. Our goal is to be able, are to find the starting value and also the multiplier. We're going to start by trying to find the multiplier first. So before we begin, we need to make sure we put the information into a table. So put in negative 1, 2, and also 2, 16, and leave space for a 0 to go in there also. That's where you're going to find your starting value. Then next, we want to find the gap, the gap of how far it is from the one coordinate's x value to the other x value. In this case here, if you go 2 minus negative 1, you get a gap value of 3. Then I take that 3, and I'm going to be using that to help me find the multiplier. The multiplier formula is the gap root of next over previous. Now the next value is going to be found by doing the lower number on the, on the, on the table here. This is the next, and this is the previous. Okay. Now when we use the formula, then I'm going to say it equals the third root the third root of 16 over 2. And then the third root, the third root is found by doing 3 math 5 on your calculator. If you have a TI-83 calculator, type 3 math 5, that'll make this little 3 show up. Now it may show up as like a, a 3 in the corner here, or it also will show up with a, with a 3 and then, a, and then a little x and then a root symbol. Uh, so that's all we have for that. Next, uh, the answer to this question is going to then come out to be x, e, or the multiplier is going to end up equaling uh, an answer of 2. This, this graph, then, as you look at it, it's multiplying by 2 as you go to the right. So that means if you're multiplying by 2, like going times 2 down the table here, then if I just multiply by 2 to the, that 2 that you have there, then I'm going to have an answer of 4. I could also work my way backwards to the 0 term by dividing by 2. But if I divide by 2 in this case here, I have to divide by 2 twice, which then means I need to divide by 2 squared, and then 16 divided by 2 squared also gives us 4. Then from here, I have my starting value, I have my multiplier, and I can now write the equation. So it's y equals uh, starting value of 4, multiplier times 2 to the power of x. That's the equation. It's that easy. Lastly, you've got to figure out what the y-coordinate is of the, of the uh, starting value. That would be at 0, 4. So on the, on the homework itself, you're going to put in 0, 4 for the coordinate of the y-intercept. You're going to say that, that uh, the equation is y equals 4 times 2 to the x. And lastly, you're going to be asked to try to figure out what is the, uh, the percent increase to percent decrease. Well, if your multiplier equals 2, then you just take your multiplier and go times 100 and subtract 100, and the answer will equal 100. That is a 100% increase in this case, since it came out positive. So the last part is that this is a 100% increase, and that is all you need to do. That's all there is to this problem. Good luck, and hopefully this video helps.